What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Duke's Outfitters, where today I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the new GNU, and we've gotta go to get our, uh, our wetsuit rentals turned in. We're making our way back to the boat ramp, and once we get there, I'm gonna show you guys what we got on this new boat. Man, it's sweet, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Um, if you're new to this channel, make sure you guys go and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button for this video as well. And if you're not, thank you so much for being a subscriber. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to the boat ramp here, and I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, so we're back. We got out of the water. It was a little bit of an event. They've got a, uh, a boat ramp that's about this big and my truck's about that big. So it's kind of tough getting it down in there because I can't see the trailer behind my truck. But we got it out and uh, here it is. Give it a look. Can you take a step back so everyone can see how big it is? It's 15 foot, four inches high cider Ginu with an eight horsepower engine on the back. It's got a trolling motor, but uh, the drive pin needs to be replaced. So we didn't use it today. Um, but here in the front, can you come closer, please? We've got a front casting platform here. Um, we're going to go ahead and put some C-Deck on here eventually. You know, all of these modif bleh, all of the modifications that I'm mentioning are going to be something that we're going to do over time. But I think a majority of them are probably going to be done this year. So we've got a little hatch here. It's not necessarily dry storage, but you can use a dry bag and put a dry bag in there. In this case, we use this for some of our safety stuff and our dive flag and some of our uh, flippers and stuff because we were out diving, well, trying to dive with manatees. We didn't see any. Um, so you've got that. You've got a 16 pound anchor. Good rule of thumb is for every foot of your boat, you need one pound of anchor. It's a 15 foot, four inch boat. Figured 16 pounds of anchor would probably be enough. So that's what we got is a 16 pound anchor here. Um, here we've got just a regular Arctic cooler. What's the size on these? The Arctic 20. Uh, I could fit my bigger Arctic in here. We just weren't sure if we wanted to take that much with us today, so we didn't. Um, but we can put these, these, these GNUs are stable enough to put them either like up here or I could put one on top of this hatch back here, strap it down with a little tie down kit and actually stand and pull or stand and fish off of those. So that's kind of the plan. We got to feel out what we need exactly for all of that, but that's kind of the direction we're going with that. Um, here we've got push pull holders with the little elastic you know, little straps here. So you just, you know, put your push pole in here, latch it on there, and that way you got something somewhere to uh, travel with that. Um, here we've got rod holders. Can you come a little closer, please? All right, we got rod holders here on both sides. So they're the same on both sides, but this part just latches over the, the butt of the reel. And the tip of your reel, if you look over here, goes into here. So tip goes in there, latch it on there, good to go. I can hold four rods without taking up really any space in the boat. The, the speaker system doesn't work. I think it's just the radio. That's what the guy said. I don't really care that much about the speaker, so I wasn't too worried about it. But it does have a speaker system that we are going to work on trying to get, uh, get working. Here we've got, uh, this is a tarpon, like a C-Deck foam pad. We've also got these foam pads here in case you bang your knees on anything. But this here is made for once you use a fly, particularly like a streamer or something that's gonna get wet and hold a lot of moisture, you, you hook them on here and you let them dry out before you put them back in your box. You can see he left a couple of them in here for a while because the hooks actually rusted out, left a little mark on here, but that's what you get for getting a cheap boat. So back here we've got more storage. This is where, this is where I keep my dry boxes for my drone, a uh, dry box for all of my camera gear. There's a little battery that runs the navigation lights and things like that, but this is also where we keep the fuel tank. And this way the fuel tank's not out. We don't have to smell it. We don't have to see it. And it doesn't take up any of the usable room in the boat because it's underneath here. And I can stand up here and pull off this thing and all of that. We've got a Scotty mount here. So uh, I actually gave away my old camera boom, but you can put a camera boom in here so you can kind of video yourself you know, over the whole boat. And 
We've got a manual bilge pump. That's another thing that's on the list of stuff that we're going to put on this boat is a, an automatic bilge pump where we just you know, turn on the electric pump and out it goes. It did take on a little bit of water while we were out, uh, just from like, we were wearing wetsuits, getting in and out the boat, you know, stuff like that. Just natural or normal water that comes in on the boat. So bilge pumps are very important because we even had to use it on our short, like three hour trip that we took today. Um, and here's the motor. It's a little bit older motor. Like I said, eight horsepower Nissan. We are pretty much like instantly going to get a tiller. I think that's what's called a tiller extender or whatever the little extender is that goes on here so you can, uh, you know, drive it from up there. I'm getting bit by bugs. Me too. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's got a small little uh, jet ski trailer, nothing too special, um, but it works. It does the trick. And yeah, I'm so excited. I mean, we've been doing kayaking for what, eight years now, something like that. And I mean, with my bad back and just I'm growing up, I got to get something new and something better. So we're on to bigger and better things, kind of off of the kayak deal. Now into this, which can kind of like work as a kayak, you know, tilt the motor up, you can portage this thing, the whole thing, motor and everything is less than 400 pounds without gear in it. So it's a pretty light boat. It's a pretty, pretty light deal. So the concept behind these boats is um, it's a canoe style body, but it's wider and it's made to resemble like a flats boat, like a pulling skiff. And uh, so you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get the light weight of the canoe, you get that canoe body, but you get the stability, oh gosh, you get the stability of the skiff and uh, obviously the really great look too. So, hey, we're getting eaten up by mosquitoes. I just wanted to give y'all a little bit of a tour and kind of show y'all what we're into, what you can look forward to for the rest of the year is pretty much videos in this. And we're gonna try out salt water. We're gonna still be doing some bass fishing. And I mean, I'm sure we'll find something else gators. crazy to get into. And it's on our <laughs> list soon to try and catch and kill a gator with supervision and licensing and all of that, obviously. But we had some gator the other night. I had gator for the first time. And although it was fried, I'm really, I really enjoyed it. And I really want to try it like blackened. And I really want to get some on my own. I'm not much of a hunter. It's really not my thing. But uh, there's a lot of gators and that was mighty tasty. So I think I can make this exception. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get us to the B&B. I know I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm ready to take a nap. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time on another episode of Duke's Outfitters.